and i can see that this table itself shows which of the devices are vulnerable and which of my devices do not have any critical config for the vulnerability on the map i can see which of the devices have critical configs for vulnerability ever find yourself facing against the clock to troubleshoot network issues as network engineers we have felt the pressure first hand in this video series we will show how you can automate anything including tackling complex network challenges such as assessing your network for any security vulnerabilities in 5 minutes or less no coding required so do you think we can beat the clock keep watching to find out okay so before i actually go ahead and start designing the automation for addressing the vulnerability let's take a quick look at the pcert report that was shared by cisco for one of the latest ios x related vulnerabilities which was released around last year this has a base 10 score which means it is of critical level and here the attacker can exploit the web interface of ios x if it's enabled to gain unauthorized access and create a local username and password so there are certain conditions for a device to be affected by this vulnerability our idea is that we want to create a automation to assess these conditions and then replicate this automation on network wide ios xe devices to see which of our devices need the fix okay so let's start the timer and create the automation as always we'll first go ahead and create a new intent and under our intent let's name it to the cvid of the vulnerability now once i've named this intent i'll select the seed device so i'll select any one of my asr devices which have the ios xe so i'll select this and click on okay now any intent is made up of two components one is the data and then second is a diagnosis that we can create on the data so we'll pull out the config file of this device so let's add the config and retrieve the live configuration from the device cool so now i have the config from the device now to address this vulnerability we need to check the presence of certain commands on the device configuration these commands are related to http and http secure server so i can search all these commands now once i have these commands i want to extract this data into variables now anyone with almost zero scripting knowledge can also use the built in no code parsers which are click type so all i need to do is just select the relevant command or relevant data that i need to parse out into a variable and then go ahead and parse now netbrain has automatically given it a variable name let me change it to http enabled right and the value is given in the output table similarly we'll also parse the other variables which is http secure server and if http secure active sessions are enabled and http active sessions are enabled let's quickly also change the names of other variables so this one is https enabled this one is https active enable and the last one is http active enabled cool so once i've done this uh, one more data that i need to parse is the software version or the os version for the ios xe so i'll just go ahead and search for version and again almost without any scripting knowledge i can just select the value that i need to parse and click on parse variable and netbrain will automatically detect it's of float type and also give it the variable name of version cool so now all the parsing is done let's get ahead with defining the diagnosis so once i go to define diagnosis this is where i can create my paper logics into coded ones from the gui itself so first let's add a new diagnosis and name it as conditions check for vulnerability and then let's define the conditions so under the conditions 
first i will check if the version is greater than equal to 15 then only the vulnerability will affect my device next condition i want to check is if http is enabled which i can do by checking if the variable is not empty and i also want to check if http is enabled and the safeguard command which is http active sessions is not present so http active enabled should be empty these three conditions will mean that the device is vulnerable next let's also check if the https server is enabled on the device so again if https enable is not empty and the https safeguard command should be empty again if a d and d conditions are met the device is vulnerable so now the boolean expression will be a and b and c or condition d and d if this is met we will raise an alert which says device is vulnerable and set the status code for the device in the else logic we will state that no critical config or vulnerability was found and again set the status code for device as well as the intent and as a last step let's apply a diagnosis and let me take a look at the counter phew we managed to beat the clock cool so now let's just go ahead and test on our intent once cool so as of now my automation shows that no critical config for the vulnerability was found on my device and i can actually see the diagnosis that was done by netbrain as well to verify if my logic worked correctly if i click on the diagnosis log i can see which of the conditions were true and which were false and what was the overall value of the boolean expression now this was all about creating the automation but the next step is how do i assess all my ios xe devices now with netbrain it's very easy to quickly scale your single automations into an assessment which can be run on multiple devices using the replication wizard so from this icon here i can go to the intent replication wizard and quickly replicate it onto all my Cisco iOS XE devices. So first I'll select the seed intent, click next. Next I will define the scope of replication. For this let's create a new table which will have all my iOS XE devices. So I'll name it as CV checks ADT. Now I will define the base of this ADT as a device group. Let's create a new device group. Now this is where things become really interesting. Using NetBrains dynamic search functionality, I can quickly search devices of a certain type, a certain vendor, or even a certain platform or OS. So using dynamic search from all devices, I can select the devices where the operating system contains iOS XE. Let's preview these. Cool. Let me click on OK. And then Finally, again, once more, I'll click on OK. And with this, I can click on Next. And under the replication settings, I will define the intent qualification, which is on which device groups I want to run my intent on. This will again become iOS XE. And then once again, I'll click on Next. And as a last step, let's rename the column for the intent to the name of the CV and save and replicate. So now our ADT is saved successfully and NetBrain has already started replicating the automation that we created on all the devices which are part of the ADT. Let's open the output table and see the results. Okay, so once the intents were finished executing, I did a quick refresh on this table and I can see that this table itself shows which of the devices are vulnerable and which of my devices do not have any critical config for the vulnerability. Now this is a very good way to consume the data where I can quickly see all my network wide devices which are vulnerable for a certain CV. We can also export this data in the form of a CSV. So in the CSV file, I'll get the same data. On the map, I can see which of the devices 
have critical configs for vulnerability. Now there is also a third way to consume this data. Imagine a network with thousands or maybe ten thousands of devices. So the automation data table and the map are not a good way to assess the network for a vulnerability check. For this, we use something which we call as summary dashboard, which is a new feature. Now here is one summary dashboard which checks for NIST compliance and CV vulnerability on a weekly basis. If you want to learn more about how these dashboards work and how you can quickly create them, we are conducting a webinar next week. The link for the same is shared in the description box below. We have just shown you how to automate vulnerability checks for your network-wide devices in five minutes or less and without any coding requirement. And we hope that this video has been helpful to you. Our goal is to make no-code automation simple for you so that you can follow along and build the automations alongside us. So we would love to hear from you. Let us know what are the topics you would want us to show next by leaving a comment below. Your input matters and shapes our future content. See you next time, Network Automation Engineers. And stay tuned for our upcoming episode where we will tackle yet another automation challenge under five minutes or less. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for today's automation challenge. Before you resume your role as a network superhero, be sure to explore the links in the description below. If you're ready to see how NetBrain can solve your network operations challenges, schedule a customized demo with an engineer who truly understands your concerns. For our existing NetBrain users looking to level up their automation game, don't miss out on our upcoming two-day power user trainings. These instructor-led courses are free for all our customers and are offered live at multiple locations and dates. And if you're just starting out with NetBrain, no problem. Take advantage of NetBrain University's free training resources, which include the Class Lab, a live playground where you can test, build, automate, and explore NetBrain to your heart's content. Until next time, network automation engineers, stay tuned for our upcoming episode where we'll tackle yet another automation challenge in under five minutes.